We're beginning with breaking news as the body of a missing boater has been found. Shortly after 5 o'clock, the remains of 36-year-old Brian Suggs were recovered in Halls Mill Creek. That's where the two boats collided just last night. And now tonight, two people are confirmed dead. Our Shelby Myers covering this in the Breaking News Center. Shelby, you talked to someone who called 911 after that crash. Yeah, Lenise, a woman tells me she heard the awful sound and knew something bad had happened. Investigators now saying two people are dead. Two others were rushed to the hospital. Your first instinct, you know, is to jump in and start helping people. Tonight, tragedy continues on Hawes Mill Creek. I heard the boat, you know, the loud engine, and then I heard a thump and the engine went off and I knew something had happened. This woman lives off the water where it happened. She didn't want to be identified, still shaken up by what she heard and saw last night. And I ran outside and um, I, you know, I saw the people and I'm like, you guys okay? And they're like, no, call 911. So I go inside, grab my husband, call 911. Aaliyah says two boats crashed before 9 p.m. last night. Christopher Anthony died when the 20 foot Baja he was driving hit a 30 foot profile boat. Brian Suggs, who was riding in the Baja, went overboard, but crews couldn't find him. Until today, some 20 hours after the crash and near the scene, a boater would come across Sug's body around five this evening. Multiple different emergency crews on Juniper Avenue investigating. The homeowner who saw it all says she's praying for the families involved as she tries to come to grips with what happened in her own backyard. I've never seen this happen and now I just, I don't even want to go back down there because the screaming, you know, you somebody was screaming, I mean like calling somebody's name and you know, that's just something that stays with you. It's not going to leave my thought for a while. The crash also injured two other men aboard those boats. They were taken to the hospital. There's no word tonight on their condition. In the studio, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.